Hey, what's up? It is Zykuskin. Yes, I got an actual pink box. It's kind of ripped up, though. So that's going to be fun. Um, and we're going to open it. But yeah, it is the vinyl box, the VNYL, whatever you want to call it. it. I got one. I have another one coming. Um, after the other one, I'll know if I want to continue it, but... Hey, this is me from tomorrow. And we are going to flip-flop me from yesterday and me today in this video. And that's just how it's going to go for this unboxing. Um, I'm going to be, well, I'm going to be telling you about my thoughts on the music side of the vinyl and not the aesthetic side like I did in the last one. I might talk about the aesthetic with the second one, but that's about it. Um, so yeah, let's do this. Um, you're gonna really getting a bang out of your buck with VNYL. You know, you get three records for the price of two and a half, and it's just lit, all right? <laughs> it's a lit concept. Um, like, that's all we really have to say. That's what got me into it. I'm like, dude, I get a record free. Um, I do love new music. They can't really mess up too badly. I mean, it's me. <laughs> I actually did get a record. Oh, hi, cat. I did actually get a record um, surprise box from Hot Topic, which is just like their um, clearance records and like packaging, so you don't know it's clearance records. And yeah, like these are like totally, I love these, all right? And I totally showed you them wrong. But yeah, I, I, only, I don't like this one. I don't like the Buried in Me's first album. I'm just not into it. I no hate to the Buried in Me, but I think, I think they've done better work. Probably they have. I haven't listened to their other stuff, but I bet they have, alright? Because my friend loves them. Constance's The Murder of Tom Fitzgerald. This album got me into shoegaze. Well, this EP got me into shoegaze. It is from the MySpace days, too. There's a MySpace link in it. It's, it's, it's interesting. Um, this one I also love because the 90s punk half of me that loves Canadian music. Just totally digged Big Wig, wait, Big Wig Stay Asleep, and obviously this is like one of my favorite splatters. If you follow me on my aesthetic Twitter, well no, not my aesthetic Twitter, my aesthetic Instagram, you'll know about it. Oh boy, like this is already getting on a good start. Like I did, I'm just too hyped to open the package. And also I did not like grades under the radar, but that's just me, all right? <laughs> Anyways, this wasn't even curated for me. And I like two of the albums, so I'm guessing I will like I will hate only two of the albums out of the six I'm getting from VNYL. All right? Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm like so, like, you know, hyped for this. All right? Because they can't mess up. All right? They, they can't. All right? It's impossible. I did fill up my, um, I did fill up my thing wrong, though. My, um, profile. So I might get some albums I don't really want. But that's all my fault, not theirs. So, oh boy, I wonder if I'm getting another record, well, no, like their member store thing, because I got that last time, because I did get, um, member store stuff already. Their member store is great, I love it. I don't like their free shipping, but that's just my thing. Alright, that did not really work out well. Okay, oh boy, let's do this. Alright. Yep, I got another member store thing. Uh, I need to give this to a friend though because I think um, V and Y would yell at me if I colored in the second one and posted it. I, or, I, or I can and just post, hey, you know, this is not going towards your um, contest to see if I'll win another month free because this is not it, all right? I just wanted to color this in again and I just wanted to show everyone that I did it. All right, hey. Um, I got, like, totally sidetracked in my last video, so I'm gonna add this in after I open the box, and th you saw me do that. Alright, I got all wrapped up, that that's my vibe, and then I got, um, what else? Oh yeah, and it's on Curious Settings, so I have a lot of experiments in here. And yeah, I'm sorry that I'm not going to be very, like, jazzy or whatever. Like, uh, that's not me. Like, I'm a little... This is the most jazziest I'll get, so... Oh, boy. Also, I did pull out the member... Wait, no. I might add that there. Let's, let's just get into it, alright? 
I have a viewfinder, that's why my eyes are closed. Okay. I don't know what this is. Yep, I don't know. Oh, Generations. Oh, yep. Uh, oh, I'm not, I'm now happy, alright? This is on clear. I have not heard this. Like, I'm going to be dead honest here. I picked Curious, and I'm getting a lot of stuff that I don't even know. But clear vinyl, dude. Clear vinyl. I want to get the XX's, um... What's it called? I see you on clear vinyl. But yeah, I want to open this now because the most clear vinyl I have is on the big wig one I just showed you. And I didn't even show you a, fit of, um, a photo of that. I might actually, you know what? I'm not going to contemplate my editing ideas on camera. I'm very sorry if I do that. But yeah, there's also a download code in here, so that's pretty sick. Um, oh, dude, it's so clear. This is super clear. Oh my god. Alright, I like complained, like I'm not gonna lie. I did tell someone that I expect two color vinyl from me and YL. So, you know what? I got one. Like, I expect one per package, so I got my one per, per well, one per this package. So, and I bent the download card. So, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the service so far. I'm gonna obviously listen to this later and throw that clip in here. But, yeah. First record, as you can see, I got was the Generationals Heza. I believe this came out in 2011 or 2012. I did check the um, I did check my discogs for these, and um, as you can see, it is unclear. Um, you know, music-wise, this is my least favorite out of three. Um, I did enjoy it though. It is good chill music. It's like group love, really slowed down. Like it's a slowed down group love, and it's. If you're in the mood to, um, you know, chill, I guess. Like, if you want nothing too hype, like, hype, you don't, if you don't want, like, too much hype music, you just want to, like, you know, lay down the floor and do drugs. Wait, what? No, no. Um, I'm kidding, but you know what I mean by that. Um, this is, like, a stoner album. I think I got stoner albums. I'm into, like, psychedelic stuff, so... Just gonna throw, it, throw that out there. It is chill synth pop. Um, if you're down for chillness and synth pop, I suggest you check this out. But if you want more hype, hyped up music, then this is not for you. Um, I did pick a chilled out vibe, so I'm not complaining. This is a good um, album to start me off with, and I did enjoy it. It's just I got better stuff in the box. <laughs> Trying to edit this as much as possible, so to, so I'm not really like going on like let's see, all right. Okay, this one, the last one feels big. I don't know what this one is though. Okay. Ooh, all right. Death as a fetish. This is another experiment one. What is this? Star fucker. <laughs> all right, I enjoy this already. Like, I just enjoy the name, because I like the star fucking hipsters, and I'm not saying that to be YouTube copyrighted. That's actually the name of the band. Not YouTube copyright, but like YouTube taken down, but I'm sorry, I'm like way too hyped. <laughs> but yeah, I like, I'm just saying that because, you know, I do enjoy the star fucking hipsters name, and so I'm like totally down with star fucker already. Um, this is 180 gram, so... Yeah, you know what? V and Y already did good, alright? Like, they can, like, this is not not crap so far. Like, I treat 180 gram vinyl just as much as I treat, as like I treat colored vinyl. I'm sorry if I say vinyls in this too, I'm like not thinking. I just want to open this and like be hype a little bit. Like, I'm listening to new music and it's gonna be so cool. I'm gonna spin stuff. Like, what's up? <laughs> Alright, my second one is my actual curation. Um, as I said, I picked Curious. So I got um, an experiment, a filler, and this. The filler album actually knew. This one I did not, and this one was curated to me. It is also kind of experimental since just like, hey, you like this artist, so I'm going to, you know, base my decision off this artist. And this is what I got. It is Starfuckers Reptilians. And this is actually not how you spell Starfucker, like the band. If you want to actually look up the band, 
um, you know, type in S-T-R-F-K-R, -R, and you'll find it, all right? But that's about it. Um, I'm gonna actually show you what's in here because I didn't do that, I think, because this is on standard black, but it is 180 gram. Like, the person who curated my vibe literally um, did good, all right? He did good. Um, it does look like it's from the 80s and not from 2011. Um, I'm gonna explain the artist that I got like later on after when I actually read the note I got to you and what I think of it. Well actually I'm gonna say what I think of this album now. But I do want to show you the inside of it because it looks really cool. It is the album cover on like um, ye off yellow paper and yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, very minimal, but I do enjoy it. Um, basically, this album reminded me of Empire of the Sun uh, and Foster the People in MGMT. That's who they remind me of. And it is from 2011, so it totally fit in with um, Foster the People at MGMT's, like, well, MGMT was like, had congratulations out. Foster the People had, um, lots of torches out around that time so it kind of fits in with that and I do enjoy it you know early 2000s not not 2000 early 2010s sorry about that I am out of it still <laughs> early 2010s um indie pop that's what this is basically um I d like it does have a psychedelic side to it like I said <laughs> that, like that's why I did mention MGMT um, Empire of the Sun, I don't exactly know when their breakout was. I am not a big fan of Empire of the Sun, but just music-wise and what I've heard from Empire of the Sun, it reminds me of Empire of the Sun. Like a very dreary version though, because Empire of the Sun is very colorful and very colorful. Like, I don't know how to explain their aesthetic in any other way except for colorful. This is not really that colorful, but it is a very nice album. It is an album that I have to listen from like start to finish though. Um, so yeah, some of these songs didn't make my playlist, you know, my me playlist, because I do have a playlist on Spotify where I mention all the songs that I like or songs that just stick out to me. And the one that I mentioned first, Death as a Fetish, I did actually enjoy that song. Um, and I also put down Julius or Julius, whatever, you, however you pronounce it. I can't pronounce things. <sighs> Last one. I hope this is not an experiment. Like, I thought Curious would leave me with one not experiment. Something that I know. Something that I love. Something that does not have a weird name, but... I, I, come on. VNYL. Give me something good here, alright? I don't know what this is. I hope it's good. Please tell me it's good, alright? Is it something I know? Please tell me it's something I know. Oh, yes. It's not something I knew, but I saw people get it and I just felt like I needed to look it up and it just... <sighs> I'm happy now. <laughs> yep, the, the, all right. Do you see what I mean? Like, I get, um, I'm like totally okay with most things. So obviously, um, my review after the, listening to some of these, like, um, well, the last two, um, I'll probably change my mind from what I'm saying right now, saying that, you know, being is pretty lit right now. But, you know, I did listen to this after I saw people get this because I just felt like I want, needed to for some odd reason. I don't know why, but honestly, I'm glad I did. It's on green vinyl, I know that. Like, I've been watching these videos because I just got too hyped for getting this. And I know, like, you know, VNYL did, like, outdid themselves already with my expectations. So, yeah, it is green, and it's probably not going to go back in. It's also pretty thick, like, damn. Like, damn. But, yeah, this is an EP. It is Wild One's Heat Wave, if you did not know. And when I listened to it, it just sounded like the perfect blend of, like, Tegan and Sarah, Night Riots, in um, Best Coast, but I did not mention Best Coast in my profile, but yeah. This is like a mix of those three artists in one EP, and it's just beautiful. I actually enjoy it. 
and I just had a feeling that I had to look it up, and I know why now. So, yeah, you know what? Me and my olive did themselves. I'm not gonna lie here. Um, this album I actually heard, and it's an EP. Uh, this EP actually heard, and I, as, as you see, I didn't mention my thoughts on it. I do want to add, though, this reminds me of Lucius also. But I did not really think of that since I saw Tegan and Sarah and Lucius live the same day at one point, so... That was an interesting concert, but yeah. Um, so this does kind of also remind me of Lucius. Um, not just because I think this is the lead singer. And correct me if I'm wrong. Her hair also reminds me of Lucius. Like in the music reminds me of Lucius. They should tour with Lucius. They probably did too, so <laughs> what am I even saying? But yeah, the album is amazing if you're into like best coast kind of thing. Like, if you're into the Best Coast, if you're into Tegan and Sarah, if you're into Lucius, it's stuff like that. You're, you'll be into Heat Wave. They also remind me of Night Riots a little bit, sound-wise, so if you're into Night Riots, too, go ahead. <laughs> um, and now...